Hello students, this is Satchanand again. I am going to show you an interesting experiment in series of experiments performed by Mobile Science Lab. In this particular experiment, I want to show you a resonance pendulum. You know what a simple pendulum is. Simple pendulum is nothing but a thread, tensionless thread connected to a heavy bob or some sort of object. When it is subject, when it is pulled to some angle, it makes to and fro oscillations about the mean position of rest. So, the time period of the pendulum depends on the length of the pendulum. Except on the length of the pendulum, it doesn't depend on any other factor like size of the bob or shape of the bob. You know the time period of a simple pendulum T is equal to 2 pi under root of L by G, where X at L, all the other parameters are constants. So, we can definitely say that length is the only parameter on which the time period depends. Now, in this particular experiment, we have made some modifications to see that we transfer energy of one pendulum to the other pendulum provided the natural frequencies of these two pendulums are equal. What is the natural frequency? Natural frequency of the simple pendulum depends on the length of the pendulum. If I say that I should take two simple pendulums of the same natural frequency, it is well understood that we have to use the simple pendulums, uh, two simple pendulums of the same length. We have done the same thing. I have taken these two simple pendulums and then I have connected these two simple pendulums through a straw. That means if one of them is made to vibrate, these vibrations are transferred to the other pendulum by some means or the other, that is by straw. That means whenever you are moving, you are doing some work. Whenever you are capable of doing some work, you are doing some, I mean it has some energy. The energy is going to be transferred from one pendulum to the other. Now, the demonstration of the resonance pendulum is very simple. See, the problem is first, we should see that they are at rest. And uh, before actually going into this, what is the time period? Time period is nothing but the time required for a simple pendulum to travel from one extreme position. It goes to the mean position of rest, go to the other end and then again comes back to the other extreme. This is called time period of the pendulum. If this happened to be, if this time period is in one second, then we call that the time period of the pendulum is one second. You know that number of vibrations made per second is the frequency. Though if, if at all the time, time period of the pendulum is one second, the frequency of the pendulum is also one hertz. Now, after having brought it to rest by using this cardboard, I am going to set one of these pendulum to the motion. Now, I am moving this pendulum. Now, you can observe the first pendulum, the pendulum which is on my right side is vibrating violently. As the time progresses, this pendulum has come to rest, but the second pendulum has started moving. Now, if you observe, this second pendulum will come to rest and the first pendulum starts moving. This is possible because whenever it is vibrating, it is transferring its energy to the second pendulum that makes it to move. So when it is moving, when it is halfway, it gives it maximum energy to this and this starts moving at a faster rate. This process keeps on going. This is, this is called, a, this pendulum is in resonance with the second pendulum. 
the example, the best example of the resonance is if you are in a theater, if the actors are crying, we have to take the kerchiefs and then wipe the tears of our friends or girlfriends or wives or whatever it is. So this is one of the examples of pendulum. And in addition to that, we can you must have observed it. See, during childhood days, all of all of us must have had a swing. See, this swing when it is moving, if you want to move it fast, you have to give a kick only at a particular point of the movement so that you can have a very high rise of the swing. Otherwise, if you give swing wherever you want, if you give it the kick to the swing, wherever, whenever and wherever you want, it will not go. I am quite certain about it. So when the swing is moving, you have to give the swing or push only at a particular spot so that you can go for maximum amplitude. In the same way, when father is also pushing a child, depending upon the child uh, age and other things, he would give swing in such a way that he can go for longer distances. These are all the examples of resonance. In addition to that, there are mechanical resonance and other things. I am not going into the details. I am just giving you the example of resonance pendulum. And then we can see that even now it is moving without any problem. See, this is very simple. All of you can, it doesn't cost you much. All of you can construct simple pendulum. Straw is not a problem. All of us are habituated to drink cool drinks. Along with the cool drinks, straw is free. Thread is free. Everything is, everything you can get it. Construct this resonance pendulum at home and then show it to your parents and enjoy your physics. So, have you enjoyed it? Did you like this experiment? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much.